It's okay. Welcome. This is the 26th of April, 2024. It's Jenkins Documentation Office Hours. Thanks for joining. Topics for today. Weekly. LTS. New blog. Version docs. Recently merged improvements for Jenkins.io. And if time allows, I'm happy to share a little bit on the CDCon trip report. And then deprecation of blue ocean. Chris, any other topics you want to be sure we add? Nope. Okay. Well, let's go through them then. So um, the changelog automation is working great on the weekly releases. And thanks very much to Tim Jacom for creating that. It's working, working fine. The next LTS, Alex Brandis has... Um, accepted the, or has nominated himself to lead the, the release and the release checklist is already in progress. First release can or the release candidate is due May 1. And there are three backport candidates that look interesting. So one is uh, just keep the security scanners quiet by backporting Spring Security. Uh, no, Spring Framework in that case. Another is a bug fix and another is a bug fix. Any and Kevin Martins is covering the change log in the upgrade guide. Any questions on next LTS? No. Nope. Okay, next topic then was the blog from Chris Stern on Google Summer of Code application period. Oh, we should show it in context. Sorry, Chris. Let's look at it really like this. Okay. Anything you want to want to share on that one, Chris? Um, I think it's like the results uh, of GSOC, it's going to be announced on May 1st. So we will start preparation once that's confirmed. Great. Thank you. Uh, next steps start May 1, right? Because Google will announce and once Google announce, I uh, announces, I assume we will do a blog post and yeah. announce the projects, update the pages, et cetera. Yeah, and we start the bonding period right away. Great, thank you. Thanks very much. Okay, anything you want to share on the version docs project, Chris? Um, we're still waiting for Infra to inform us when it would be hosted for the version docs, uh, but we're working on the part that's not the version docs for the um, we're tooling part of the Jenkins Dial website. Okay, so working on the Gatsby side. Yep, still working on it. Great, very good. All right, I will check with them next week in uh, Mark check in check in infra team meeting. Thanks, excellent. Thanks very much. Thanks to you and to Vandit. Thanks sincerely. Mm -hmm. I suggested to Kevin Martins that we might highlight Vandit as a uh, in the contributor spotlight. And Kevin yeah. thought that was a really good idea. I think so too, yeah. Great. All right. Recent changes on the Jenkins.io site. Jan Farachik has been doing a number of usability improvements and UI consistency improvements to Jenkins.io. Uh, including cleaning up the CSS and adding a dark mode. That's that one's still in progress. So we're not not done yet with dark mode, but it's looking quite good and may lead to further changes to the top level CSS that's at the root on the menu bar because Jan's trying to get consistency across all the pages. And Stefan Speaker did a uh, Meg, for you and for me, a blog, uh, an update to documentation on the test pyramid on software testing and how to choose what. Oh, yummy! And and the the cool thing is he got agreement from Basil Crow and from Uli Hoffner and from me about hey, this is a good way to express it. So it's it's really quite a nice thing. So in terms of developer testing. If we read the page, you can read about 
Testing, here we go. Let's see, is this the page? I have to go looking. Maybe I'm in the wrong page for Jenkins rule. I'll have to go looking to find the, oh, you no, know, here it is. Good, here it is. Okay, so under running tests and what to test. So he talks about the test pyramid as described by Mike Kahn, where you've got a bunch of unit tests, fewer integration tests, and even fewer end-to-end -end tests as one concept. Uh, and then describes Jenkins rule, real Jenkins rule, and Jenkins session rule. And also includes mention of things that actually run a web browser in order to perform their tests. And uh, it's it's actually it's quite a quite a cool thing to have somebody describing the different layers of testing and how you might approach them. Indeed. Okay. So thanks to Stefan there and uh, fixes from others like Julie Heard. Thanks to Julie as well. Any questions on the recent changes, Chris? Are you going to be okay with adapting those into? Jan is aware of the version docs work, but not worrying about submitting pull requests to it, assuming that Antora does formatting quite differently. I think so, yeah. But for if if they are like a uh, part of the Gatsby sites, then we will need to um, work on that a bit. Okay, so so we'll we'll want to watch to see that those two don't drift too far apart. Yeah, because I don't think we have doc mode yet, so we could add that later. Okay, good. All right. Great. Thank you. Anything else on recent changes recent changes to Jenkins.io? Okay, next topic then. I wanted to share brief notes on CDCon. It was in Seattle last week. And we had a, a, a workshop that I attended on assessing the help of open source projects including things like how do you decide is do we have the right number of maintainers do is is it active is it not active that kind of thing and then two days of days of talks and presentations from cdconf Uh, it was actually a five-day conference in total. Only two of the days were CDCon. The other three days were other parts of Linux Foundation presentation. So I actually attended a piece of the supply chain conference and pieces of several other interesting conferences. More details in a uh, in a written report later. That was a good conference. You had a good time. It was very, very good. Yeah, really. Basil Crow and I both attended and the conference had a lot of interesting talks from people at all sorts of levels from embedded devices and Linux kernels all the way up to, you know, application monitoring and health health checking. Cool. Yeah, it was very good. Last topic then is on deprecation of Blue Ocean. So we're probably still a year or a year and a half away from this actually happening where Blue Ocean is officially deprecated, but we see it as a good place to use the version documentation site to move stepwise away from having Blue Ocean so prominently featured and instead use either pipeline graph view or some other techniques to highlight how people should interact with creating new jobs and uh, viewing those jobs, et cetera. Uh, Kevin Martins is working on outlining the parts and pieces of that project. Any questions there? No. Okay. No. That covered all the topics I had. Any other topics for today? Any PRs that need reviewing? Yeah. Uh, actually, I that's heard a any. good question. Let's take a look. Very good question. So if we look at Jenkins.io pull requests, 
So dark mode is a good one. I'd love to have testing from multiple platforms and in multiple places. So this one really does need more exploring to see how does it behave. Okay. And one of the challenges for me is trying to figure out how to enable dark mode in my in my browser. So when I click view deployment, it doesn't come up dark. And yet my browser, I think, is configured for dark. And so I'm not quite sure what it, what I have to do to make it so I can test this. Oh. So I've, I've got more learning to do. But if you can help with review of that one, that's a great one to review. Okay. Then there is, let's see, others that need review include... Well, right now in this bunch, not so much. This one is listed as approved, approved by two people. Hmm. Still some comments, Chris, from you. Uh, Chris, do you want us to hold this or are you okay if we if we merge it as is? Um, Which one is this? This is the check url in form validation oh, i didn't approve it oh you yeah you did i just saw that okay yeah. so it looks so like there's okay. comments where you responded no we don't we shouldn't do this but we didn't resolve the comment so it's still right so so it looks like Zbinek's comments have also been handled yeah it's like we solved all of them okay good so then let's let's just use this as our excuse to merge it now we could yeah great okay so it's merged Let's look at the next one. Okay, we've got a draft, so we can ignore drafts. And then we've got document the post hosting process. And this one still needs corrections based on Tim Jacomb's feedback. Oh, he's just asking if we could do, oh. Ah, okay. So so still still has some feedback that needs to be handled from various people not quite ready. Yeah. Okay. So more more changes needed there. Continuing our look. Okay, this one, the CNA scope conflict improvement needs security review. And Daniel Beck disagreed with it. So uh -huh. I'm hesitant to, to do anything with this one until Daniel reviews it further. Whoops. Okay, typo in this reg. Oh, that's an int. Okay, now interesting that we've got. Okay, this one is really old and is making no progress. So I'm going to ask a question. Would you like to continue or shall we close it? There we go. Okay. Because this was just an outline, not, not content for inside the outline. Okay. Okay. This next one, revise community feedback, I think... Yeah, I I recommend I propose that we close this one. Yeah. System to assess as one assessment of general release quality. Okay. Noted. Okay, next.
And I think we are now details about CVEs in third parties dependencies. Okay, this is okay, this is a, a conflict between Daniel and Vodak. They need to resolve it. <laughs> yeah, so this this needs to just stay as is. Okay. I'm going to update the branch. There's no reason we can't at least test it with the current current version of master branch. Mm. Okay. And that means we've made it through over half. And this one has an awful lot of work to do on it. And Vandit, I don't want to distract him from what he's currently working on. Okay. Because Vandit's work on version docs is even more valuable than this. Yeah. Chris, you're okay with that, I assume. We can, somebody else could pick it up and help it. Uh, rather than distracting Vandit. Can I see up top? Can I scroll up top? So it can track some, like, what it is for. Yeah, so okay. it's four months ago. Yeah, I think, I think it, I did, like, um, Mark, okay, so is it request change? Okay. Yeah, yeah, so I we're gonna figure out, or I can. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because this is certainly one that, well, so this is certainly one that we would like to get. Okay. And and because we we receive lots of questions, how do I upgrade Jenkins? And and this gives us, if nothing else, it gives us a very good starting point. Let's okay. resolve the conflict while we're here. Okay, we need to keep updating. And we need to keep platform information. Conflict resolved, commit the merge. Okay, good. All right, and I am almost out of time here. We've made reasonable progress. Any any others on this that you particularly would like to to see touched? Nope. Okay, I'm this one. This one. Okay, this one seems to be abandoned. Yeah, because like I, I think it's like Daniel had some strong opinion about this. So is there, it wasn't going to be merged anyway, so I think. Okay, so I think we should just close this one. Yeah. Okay, so so Kevin asked April 24, maybe we close it next week. Give him a, 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 up to a week to respond. That was okay. last week, last year. That wasn't from this Oh, that year. was a year ago. Oh, wait a sec. Okay, you said, <laughs> oh boy, like, that's what I get for not looking at the date stamp. Oh, you're right. Okay, let's just close it. Okay. Good. Okay, Nack, and it, let's close it with without you making a typographical error. No I'm active. Yeah, that's terrible. You Clearly, I need person. more sleep. All right. Okay, good. Okay, now. Quicker command to see all over. Oh, this is a, a Daniel draft. Okay, update shared libraries dot a doc. Limited runtime evaluate. Oh, oh, right. So this is dependent on another pull request, and the pull request is here, and it has not been merged. Therefore, it cannot be. This one cannot be merged. So this mm -hmm. one needs to be marked as, let's see, on hold. It is marked on hold. Good. Okay. Okay. So, and then we get to Meg's draft for review by security. <laughs> I wonder right. if it's even usable anymore. Well, they they all have merge conflicts. So if you if uh, you would like to spend some time on resolving the merge conflicts, Meg, that would be great. Okay, could look and should see we, where we are. Yeah, could we try it and let's just see what 
how bad they are. They don't look terribly bad. Okay, so... That was an easy one to resolve. Okay, this one is in generate inline help. I don't recognize that at all. Okay. Jenkins help pages. Huh, I didn't know we had inline help. Generated on the site. Okay. Hmm. I think I may have made a mess of that. I'm going to abandon this attempt to resolve the conflict. Okay. I have forgotten this so much. I can go in and look and see if. Yeah. You, bad. you, that one looks like it was actually authored by Daniel. Oh, okay. The next one is authored by you. So, oh, right. This is add generated Jenkins inline help pages. And okay. So that one is not yours. It's the next one up. Okay. All right. Good. Any other, so we've we've now successfully reduced our open pull request to 23. That's a that's a step. Okay. And add more permission descriptions. This one was accepted. Oh, oh, this is, but this needs more feedback from from security or more adapt adaptation for security. Good. Okay. It's Ah, no. Okay. Uh, that well, that's just a draft. Good. I think we're set. Anything? Uh, any other topics you'd like to review today? Nope. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thanks. Next week, same time. Next week, same time. To Rick. Have a good week, all. Bye. Bye.